I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why do we need another video on YouTube about how to jack up your Boxster? There's already a half dozen videos out there from other folks showing you how to jack up your Boxster. But I want to show off our new 986 Brotherhood banner we have in the shop. It's showing off everyone and let everyone know that website is now up and running. We're going to have some cool t-shirts and other gear. Also uh, tools and things that we use here on the YouTube channel we're going to put over on 986brotherhood.com. So if you can a minute, check it out. And now, let's go and get our boxer jacked up so we can repair a tire that's gone south badly. And now you'll know how to jack up your boxer to change a tire, and you're gonna learn how to jack up your boxer in case you wanna do more extensive work, putting it up on all four points. All right, let's get over there. So we need to jack the wheel up to remove it. It's uh, separate, we'll show you that in a minute. But I want to show you a couple different ways to jack up your car, your Boxer, or your uh, 99, actually be just your Boxer, or Cayman. A 996 very similar to this, but the back end will be a little bit different. So, if you're just changing one tire, you just need to get it up in the air. I love these little hockey pucks, and I'll leave a link down below where you can buy them on Amazon. They're like 10 bucks. I bought two. They sit perfectly right in there. And where they go, so see right there? That shape right there is perfect for that. Try to get that out of the way there. See how that rides up in there? That way your jack, floor jack can come up, lift it up, and it's rubber. So it's not metal on metal. That's rubber on there. And it's a perfect little spot to jack it up. That's if you're doing just one tire, and there's one of these on all four sides, and you would just uh, do that. I keep one in the car, and I keep one in the shop. And we got it jacked up. Just trying to see what else. We're gonna replace that shock. You can see it's leaking. And who knows, we may not even need to, oh, there's a split right there in that boot. May have to, uh, Order some new suspension pieces for down here. Well, there's that. Yeah, I think I got some problems on the Boxster. Not looking so good, but I do happen to have another one that we'll go and get put on. If you're just doing the one tire, then this setup is the best way to pull it off. But if you're needing to get the entire car up on four jack stands, this isn't gonna work because that's where you would put a jack stand. So, um, how's that shit supposed to work? Let me show you that one. So the best place to jack up the Boxster is right there where, well, there should be two bolts, but you can see there's one bolt and a missing bolt. That is uh, the attachment point for the center brace between the transmission and the engine. So typically what I'll do is I'll jack up one side like we have, and I will put a jack stand right where that control arm meets. And the reason for that is there's a whole sub assembly or subframe up there that carries over let me let's tell that you can see up there there it is right there that carries up and over and down so that carries most of the weight so i put one right there and then i'll move the jack to there and jack it up and then put my jack sands where the uh, jack pads are on both sides so let's do that real quick. All right. So with that jack stand giving us enough room to get underneath here, I would put my jack right there.
right there. And then with that, I can then begin to lift up the whole back end of the boxer and put my jack stands on both sides. Okay, let me show you then how to jack up the front of the boxer. Okay, so if you need to jack up the front of your boxer, I'm gonna come in, so there's the wheel. And then we know that the factory jack position is right there. So if you just come straight across, see that kind of elevated portion right there? That is reinforced on the rail. I'm gonna put our jack right there. And again, depending on what kind of jack you have, you might need to, to bring in a help of a jack stand, jacking up a little bit and then bringing it in. So it's right, right there. That's reinforced. And so now we can continue to jack up the front of our boxer. And of course, always make sure you have something blocked off those front wheels when you're jacking up the rear so the car does not roll on you. I use a 30-pound uh, uh, dumbbell that I have. Cool. So that's how we jack up the boxer. So step one, if you're just doing a tire, just go ahead and find your jack point and jack it up and change your tire. Or if you want to jack up the, the whole back of the car, we know where to look for that support brace. And if you're going to jack up the front of the car, this is where you would jack up the front of the car. All right, here she is. All four wheels are jacked up. Kind of showing you where those are marked at. Kind of give you a of you here if I can stand in the corner so she is all jacked up on all four corners and ready for service so easy to do easy to do with just one jack and pull this off in a matter of 15, 20 minutes, you can have your car up on all fours and looking good and supportive. I can come up here and shake it and shake it and shake it, and this car is not going anywhere. Cool. All right. Well, let's uh, get back to wrenching. And uh, remember, stay safe out there, guys, and uh, always uh, have your wits about you when you're working underneath the car even with jack sands.